In 1879, Constantin Falberg, a chemist working at Johns Hopkins University, made an accidental discovery that would forever change how we sweeten our food. After a day in the lab, Falberg noticed an intensely sweet taste on his fingers during dinner, despite having washed his hands thoroughly before eating. Rushing back to his laboratory, he tasted every beaker and dish until he identified the source, a compound he had created while working with coal tar derivatives. This compound was benzoic sulfimide, later named saccharin, which tasted 300 times sweeter than sugar, but contained no calories or carbohydrates. By the early 1900s, saccharin was being commercially produced and marketed as a sugar substitute for people with diabetes, offering them a sweet option without affecting their blood sugar. During World War I, sugar shortages led to increased saccharin use, with the sweetener being included in military rations and becoming more widely accepted by the general public. The success of saccharin inspired scientists to search for other artificial sweeteners, leading to the discovery of cyclamate in 1937 and aspartame in 1965, each with different chemical structures and sweetness profiles. By the 1980s, artificial sweeteners had become a multi-billion dollar industry, with diet sodas and sugar-free products filling supermarket shelves as consumers became increasingly health and weight conscious. Modern sweeteners like sucralose and stevia represent the continued evolution of Fallberg's accidental discovery, combining advanced molecular design with consumers' desire for natural, low-calorie options. From a sticky, coal-tar-derived substance accidentally tasted in 1879 to the precisely engineered sweeteners we use today, Fallberg's discovery revolutionized how we satisfy our sweet tooth without the calories of sugar.